Hey, happy holidays guys, Danny here from Gamers Blight, and I got another Little Big Planet Christmas level for you. Well, rather, it's not exactly a level, it's a uh, cinematic that somebody made. It's actually the same person who made the Halloween Christmas level I played previously. This is a Christmas story, part two, because I couldn't find part one. But we don't really need to know what happens in part one. Let's see what happens here. Infernal Sobbery. Infernal, yes. Do you not recognize this place? The poor abandoned by his father. Okay, so he's already haunted by the Christmas spirit of the past. Do you be school for boys? That's just wrong. Can I excuse our present wrongdoings by blaming events in the distant past? <laughs> okay. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. That's just mean. You remember, maybe a reminder of a happier time. I didn't even get to read all that. <laughs> Those guys are getting down. They're on point with each other. And who's the guy in the back with the Eggman mustache? Seems like a jolly chap indeed. She was the love of my life. Don't just stand there, young fool. Let her know why you still have a forehead. <laughs> Two dashing fellows. Well, they are getting down pretty hard, right? Dude, that smile. That smile is just creepy. I don't think you're gonna win the love of your life with that unless your love is Harley Quinn. Oh shit. <laughs> I lost her again. Why didn't I pluck the courage? She's huge though, compared to the guys dancing next to her. was nothing but a dream. Undigested morsel. What the hell? Time has come for you to visit Christmas present. Okay. Why is it just a sack boy wrapped up in it wrap? This is pretty well made, I have to admit. Compared to... I know you're hearing me say it again. All the other stages, this is actually very well made. Your cold heart evicted this poor woman and her sacklings without shelter. They won't survive the night. I beg you, kind spirit, take me to a place warm and cheer. Are they laughing or crying? Bob scratches. Oh, it's supposed to be that Tiny Tim's family? <laughs> Look at the sack boy on top of the... on top of the shelf. <laughs> he looks fucking crazy. The wife there is just... 
she's sad or pissed? I can't tell. Okay, she's pissed. Tiny Dim Tim. <laughs> Why is hard times capitalized? Man, this story though. This is just. The moral of the story is if you don't stop being a piece of shit to people, you're gonna die and people won't care or be happy that you're dead. Man, I'm, I'm curious to see how the. Uh, Death looks or the ghosts of Christmas to come. I think we're there. Pretty good lighting. Dude, seriously, this is very good. Quality wise, it's really good. Oh shit. He actually looks pretty cool. I wonder how they made him. <laughs> His arms. Oh shit, okay. Now it just got kind of you know, more darker than usual. Man, I don't even care that I couldn't find part one or there is no part one. This is this is pretty good. Oh, oh what the hell? Is that me? It is me. There's a playable segment in this look? Never mind. Can I grab onto him? Let's, let's see if I can grab onto him. Grab onto his feet. Oh, what the hell? What's up with gravity? This is cool. Alright, that was part two, so let's continue on. What the hell? That was weird. Oh yeah, Seasons Greetings, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas to all. Uh oh. I mean, I know what happens because, you know, who hasn't seen a Christmas carol, but... This is pretty fucking dark. Okay, now what? <laughs> Egyptian cotton bed sheets. Chop her up into little pieces. Wow, okay. Did you, did you just cut off his hat? Man, I gotta find a person. I gotta look up the person who did this stage and, and heart this guy, because this is, this is pretty good. If only I discovered it sooner. <laughs> I can't help but laugh when his arms move. It's just. <laughs> it's like you got this intimidating, dark, evil, or just very scary figure, and then his arms move, and it just it just destroys that image he, uh, he portrays himself as. Oh, 
shit. Wow. I think we can take a good guess who's a uh, grave he's talking about. See? Bingo. Oh shit, okay. I I mean, I knew he was an asshole and if he died, people wouldn't care or probably feel better that he's dead, but he's going to hell? Jesus, <laughs> what the hell happened to the story? <laughs> oh man, what did he do to deserve going to hell? All he was is just a dick, he didn't kill anybody. <laughs> well, unless you count not paying the Scratchit family and making your poverty, you know, the, the cause of their poverty being your death. Syndrome from what the hell is that name in the movie? Uh, the Incredibles. I wonder what else is gonna happen. I mean, we've seen some pretty crazy shit in this rendition of Christmas Carol. We, he bitch slapped his former self in his flashback. We've seen some dudes dancing right on cue on point with each other, and then we have Death, whose arms don't bend; they just like wobble and. Scrooge went to hell. So Scrooge went, set out to Christmas morning and right is around to show the good people the good old city of London. Man, people are gonna be confused as fuck when they see him. They're gonna be like, what? Dude, what happened to you? What, did, what the hell is he on? <laughs> He's on a piece of chicken? <laughs> Gentlemen, drop by my office tomorrow for a large donation. I can write it off against taxes. You know, I would be fucking surprised that he's writing on a floating piece of chicken rather than being nice. I would be. I would have to pick up my fucking eyeballs from the ground if I saw something like that. Fetching some snow to eat? That's just... Man, I feel sorry for these people. They're, they don't even exist. <laughs> they just broke in their house with a piece of chicken. They blew up their wall with a piece of chicken. And they're not even happy. Okay. <laughs> oh man, alright, this is this is what I'm expecting. Okay, this would really happen. <laughs> Look at the mom, she's the most angry. The dad looks confused and sad, the kids are crying and the mom's just pissed. There's a big ass spider on the on the table and little Tim Dim or Dim Tim is just fucking freaking out. She called him a douche sack. <laughs> oh well, uh, I don't think this turned out the way uh, the way Scrooge intended. You know, people inviting him to places and friending him on Facebook and following him on Twitter and sh such. <laughs> this the spirit of Christmas to come is just there watching. Why, why is everybody bigger than Scrooge, aside from the children? That's just weird. And so little sack folk, you should, if you should encounter a banker who loves making money regardless of the misery and suffering they cause, smack them with a saucepan, smack them with a snowball. 
That is a fucked up moral of a story. What the hell? I'm here? There's more? You know, I think I'm gonna end things here. Because this was pretty lengthy. But, uh, I have to say I rather enjoyed it. This was very pleasant. This was surprisingly funny. And dark. It was a bunch of things I, I didn't expect. Well, I mean, the story is kind of dark, but more dark than usual. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And... Uh, since it's Christmas Day, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Season's Greetings, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and I hope you guys enjoy this day, and I'm gonna go play with some of my presents, so see you guys later.